Hello everybody and welcome back to the playground. Once again, my name is Stinger and today we return to Medieval Dynasty. Now in the last episode, we were looking for our beloved uncle who we had heard had made a good life for himself out in the wilderness. So we we're going to go look for him and maybe start up a business with him. However, we got a little bit of bad news when we found out that our uncle met a most unfortunate demise, including some wolves that ate him alive. However, it was his dying wish to hand down the family hammer that had been passed down for generations upon generations. And what did we do with this hammer? Well, we built our house, obviously. Unfortunately, though, that was a relic not to be used as we broke our precious hammer that has been passed down for generations. So note to self, don't use a family heirloom in the way that it was intended to be used. We also hunted our first buck, which was quite comical watching me try to throw a spear at this thing, and eventually I did land the kill shot right in the butt. Now in this episode of Medieval Dynasty, we're going to continue the storyline. We're also going to try to sell some items and get a little bit of money. We're going to improve our garden, maybe make a storage shack, and apparently there is a skill tree that I haven't been paying attention to, and I need to do that. With all that said though, let's go ahead and jump right back into Medieval Dynasty. Chapter 2, A Survivalist. We need to set a trap for a rabbit, hunt a wild animal, which we already did, but we'll do that again, and survive for a season. That's going to advance the storyline a bit. Let's go into our inventory, and sure enough, there's a little star here with the skills that we need to improve our skills. Uh, I'm guessing this one here, uh, talent points to spin. In this, we have none, and in this, we have none. Okay. But in this, we have one talent point to spin. And I believe this is the talent tree. So in order to get these, we have to go up the branches and get to that uh, skill. So which one do we want? Well, we can only get three. So we have this one, survival knowledge. So survival knowledge, a skill that determines how good you are in terms of survival, gathering, and fishing. And sensitive work in progress is two degree Celsius better temperature tolerance. Okay, uh, it's spring right now, so I don't think we really need to worry about the temperature. And then iron liver, fifteen percent bigger resistance to poisoning. Oh, are we gonna get poisoned? Maybe if we eat a bad mushroom or some unripened berries. But let's go with survival knowledge. Now also up here we have our inventory, it's basically what we have. We can break that down into different categories. Our skills we already saw, our journal is kind of the quest that we've already done, and that has some categories as well. And then we have our map, which is normal. However, I do see that we have some icons in Gustavia and a couple other towns that we might want to go check out. Management is for when our town gets a little bit bigger. We can assign people to certain buildings and animals to certain buildings as well. And then we have the technology tree over here which it looks like we have 22 points going towards resource storage one and we have zero of one schemes purchased. However, clicking F, it says we do not have enough technology, so we'll have to do that at a different time. Now looking into our inventory, I wanna make some tools that I can sell and all I have to make those tools right now is a stick. So we're gonna to have to go inside the house and look into our storage area and maybe bring out all of our rocks. All right, in our storage, we have 18 rocks. We do have some carrot seeds. Maybe we should go plant that. I'll take that out as well. And of course, the rocks. We'll take all of the rocks. Okay, great. So we're gonna go ahead and pick up some sticks so that we can make some of these tools. And I just gotta go around the map real quick and pick up a few of these. Lots and lots of sticks. We need lots of sticks in order to make lots of tools. We're also gonna need more stones as well. So we'll be on the lookout for those. Is that one? No, that's not one. How about over here? There we go. There's a rock. Oh, there's another stick. We can pick that up. Need more rocks, more sticks. All right, because I want to go over here and I want to make a stone skinning knife. It takes five sticks and two rocks to make. So we're going to go ahead and make quite a few of these. How many can we make? We can make five. All right, we'll make all five. Oh, right now that that's done, let's go ahead and get more branches because I want to build even more than that. Uh, any more rocks, though? Yes. No. Okay, stone. Oh, I can break apart a stone if I have a pickaxe. That'll be something I want to look into for sure. But for right now, we're just getting stones and we're, or rocks and branches. 
We're gonna make a whole bunch of these skinny knives and then we're gonna go sell them at the local market. And while we're over there, we might even look into some of the other storylines that we can go down. Another rock. Lots of rocks. Ooh, we got a new level, survival. So let's go ahead and go right into that and check that out. Yep, skills. Where we got that? Uh, that's here. Survival knowledge. Two skill points from survival activities. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. Increase the level, please. We got two out of three. We're moving on up in the world we are. Now we just need more rocks. Uh, let's see, how many sticks do we have? We have one stick, we have five rocks, and how many tools do we have? Stone knives, we have 12 stone knives. They go for 30 a piece. That's gonna be a nice little profit. However, I wanna make a few more, so I'm gonna continue to gather sticks and stones. They might break your bones, but they're gonna make me a nice little profit. Now before we head out, I am gonna set up a rabbit trap. I haven't seen a rabbit near our house, so I'm a little bit worried that we might not find a rabbit around here, but I wanna set it up around our house because if I set it up anywhere else, I might forget where I put it. So how do we do that? Uh, other, possibly? Yes, what's this, traps. We wanna build a trap. We wanna build a rabbit trap. We need 10 sticks, we only have five. So we'll go ahead and pick up a few more sticks and then we'll get right into making that rabbit trap. There's one, two, three. All right, where should we build our rabbit trap? I think right about here will be fine. So go into traps, rabbit trap, yes please. And can we turn that around? Uh, let's see. Yeah, this way I can see from the house when it's, when it's fallen. There we go, there's our first ever rabbit trap. Hopefully it'll catch us some dinner. That would be very useful indeed. Now that that rabbit trap is all set up, let's go into town and sell some of these skinny knives that we made. Along the way, I'm gonna be picking up some rocks and some sticks, just so that I can make a few more if we need to. But uh, we need to make some coin, and while we're in town, we can see what all those markings on the map are all about. Oh, look at that, we got a new building unlock workshop. Interesting, let's go check that out right now. It's probably because we were crafting all of them knives. So workshop, where is that at? That is right here. We got zero one, but we unlocked something. And it does have a star. Well, where's the star? Crafting technology applies to buildings related to the production of various objects, tools, weapons, clothes, as well as cooking meals. So this is gonna be great. We definitely wanna make a workshop as soon as possible because there are some tools that we can only make in the workshop, which we do not have right now. It does say we have 65 points and we only need 50. Can I do this one? Select building. Can we do that? Can we buy that? Not enough coins. So we need coins. Well, that's okay. We're going into town to get a whole bunch of coins. In fact, let's see how many of these skinny knives do we have now? We have 26 of them and they go for 30 a piece. That is gonna be a pretty good profit. We got a lot of branches, but I need some more stones. Ooh, we got a new level of survival. Let's go check that out. Just gathering stuff will get you leveled up a little bit. We have survival knowledge. Let's go ahead and increase that level. Sure enough, three out of three on survival knowledge, a skill that determines how good you are in terms of survival. This will do a plus three skill point from survival activities. So I believe that gets us more skill faster. Okay, it looks like we have two towns, Gustavia and Bowowo. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that town, but okay. I think we're gonna continue to go to Gustavia though, because that is the one that we were from originally, I believe. Berries are good for food, although it is springtime. I don't know, maybe they might be poisonous. Maybe we can sell them though. Probably not worth a whole bunch, but it looks like it's getting a little bit dark though, so I think we better stop gathering and start selling. All right, now we just have to go and find ourselves the store that we can sell these in. It is getting quite late. Uh, Unigos, can we talk? Good to see you settling in, my boy. How's life treating you lately? Not too bad, I have my own house, I don't starve, and people are starting to talk to me a little bit more. Oh, that's good. I hear you picked up hunting habit recently. <laughs> I did. There's plenty of game in the woods. Is that a problem? 
No, on the contrary, we don't have any stupid laws around here that would reserve the game for a nobleman, and you could do me a favor and earn some goods. Oh, I'm listening. There's a fellow hunter of yours called Sambor living in the lodge on his own. He doesn't like me much and he's a loner. But during his last visit in the tavern, he dropped some remarks about bands of wolves that could become a problem. Find out what he knows and I'll reward you. All right, I'll try to talk to him. Ooh, we got a quest. Very interesting indeed. Is it on our mini map? Yes, it is. That's going to be... Oh, there's a lot of them on our mini-map. Can we check our quest? Let's see. Journal. If we go to journal, we have side quest, challenges, story quest. Yes, unit goes story. I think I settled in nicely. Life is good here. The soil is rich and fertile. Maybe it's time to go to Unigos and talk about my future here. Perhaps he has some work for me. My first task from Unigos, the matter of those wolves seems serious. I better go to that Sam Boar Hunter as soon as possible and find out more about them. Such wild animals are no joke. So first we had to talk to Unigos and now we need to go talk to Sam Boar. Very cool. Can we track this? Yes, we can by hitting F. We will do that right now. And sure enough, there it is. It shows up on our map as a yellow marker. Great. We're going to definitely have to go do that. Kind of questioning where the heck is the tavern? It's getting a little bit dark. Oh, here we go. I found it. Can we talk? Uh, show me your wares, please. And I want to sell all of my stone knives. I have 28 of them. You're only going to pay me 11 a piece. I was promised 30 a piece. That is a ripoff, lady. Ooh, should I still sell it or not? Oh, that is curious. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna look around. No offense to you, but uh, those prices are absolutely rubbish. How about you? Anybody here want to sell me stuff? Uh, do you have a minute? No, I'll go. Okay. Show me your wares. Yeah, let's see. Oh, you're paying. You're only paying. Oh, you're only paying 11 a piece as well. Would you buy some berries? No. Oh, unripe berries. Yes, you will. You'll buy them for one. And I have 22 of them. All right. Well, I will sell you all of those. And then let's go ahead and we'll just sell our knives. It's sad we're only going to get 11 a piece for them, but we do have 28 of them, so that will be a pretty good chunk of money. In fact, how much is that going to be? How much money do we have now? We have 370 coins. Wow! We have quite a bit of coins right now. That is great. Now, is there anything that we want to buy? Oh, we don't need any meat or eggs. You know, some more seeds would be very good. I think we're going to go back into the tavern lady and just see if she has any seeds for sale. Hello, lady. Can you show me your wares? Oh, you don't have anything for seeds, do you? All right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to check other people. Yeah, I'll go now. Also, I was told that we need to craft a little bag in order to hold our seeds. That's very strange. But let's see what we can do with that. Uh, yes, a simple bag. We need three leather. We do not have three leather. I'm surprised we don't. We should have gotten some from killing that buck. However, it might be in our inventory back at the house. So I'm going to go ahead and run back to the house and check on that real quick. And maybe, just maybe, we'll have something in our rabbit trap. Because apparently I am very hungry right now. Oh, look at that. We caught ourselves a rabbit we did. We'll go ahead and collect that, and we'll reactivate it. Great, we got two leather from that. I'm sure we already have one leather from that buck. Let's go ahead and inside and check our inventory in here. Open that. Sure enough, we have three leather. Let's go ahead and bring that out. We'll take, how many leather do we have right now? We have two leather right now. We'll just take the one, because that's all we need. Let's go ahead and craft that right here. Yes, please. And now we're going to have a simple bag. All right. We're making progress in this episode. There we go. That's lit. And now can we cook anything? No, we can sleep though. All right. I want to have, I have a simple bag and I think I have some seeds. Yes, I do. Can I combine that? Can I put that in my bag? Let's see. We can assign the bag to a slot. We're going to do that. Let's assign it to uh, four. Oh, no, that was the three. So we'll assign it to three, and then can we put the seeds in that? 
change bag mode okay we'll change the bag mode we got cabbage we got fertilizer wheat oak rye flax carrot yes we're gonna do carrot seed please so now we should have a carrot seed in our bag and now can we plant that do we have a garden i don't think we do so we're gonna have to go ahead and make a garden now and then plant that carrot seed how do we go ahead and do that let's see other maybe or building let's go to building farming now a field what does that do is that what we want uh, i'm not exactly sure but let's go ahead and place it uh let's see right here oh yeah that's exactly what we want oh but it's at an angle i do not like that angle i guess we're gonna have to go this way and we'll place it i don't know maybe right let's do it a five by five that sounds about right Field and crop cultivation. Fields can be created with a maximum size of 16 by 16. The individual field tax depends upon the size of each field. We get taxed? Ooh. To be able to grow something on it, you must first plot it with a hoe. Appropriate seeds are needed for sowing. The bag is a tool for sowing and has a separate mode for each type of seed or manure. You can create the bags yourself in sowing or purchase them Collecting crops and vegetables from fields reduce the value of this field. The field value can be raised by sprinkling manure. The manure is produced by pigs when they are fed, and you can collect this from the ground. Okay. We need a hoe. And in order to make a hoe, what do we need for a hoe? We need one log and ten sticks. Well, we have the sticks. We just need the logs. Let's go get the logs. Now, crafting make a hoe and what do we do with this just we go down okay and we just make it in the gravel or do we have to make it uh, more of a dirt not so much of a gravel I'll uh, just keep on doing this see if anything changes no it doesn't all right so I'll come back when I'm all done with this it looks like we're gonna need some fertilizer luckily we got a lot of money from the last time we were in town unfortunately though that does mean that we have to go back into town and grab some fertilizer but while we're there we can also pick up some seeds so that we can get to planting i'm gonna go ahead and run back to town real quick get some seeds and get some fertilizer and we'll be right back how about you do you have anything to sell yes you do show me your wares please what do you got you have carrot seeds flour onion now these carrot seeds can be gained while collecting carrot or bot if planted in the spring which i thought it was spring but i think it might be summer now and collected in autumn or planted in winter and collected in summer needs bags for sowing it on the field all right what about flour a basic resource for cooking can be crafted from oat rye okay we that's not the seed though onion seeds can be planted in the spring collected in summer that's not good for us right now rye grain can be sown in autumn and harvested in spring what about wheat grain can be sown in autumn and harvested in summer oh that's a long one okay well we already have some carrot seeds so let's go ahead and buy a few more the price is 10 so we'll buy let's say i don't know five of those that's a lot of monies and let's also pick up some of these other seeds as well these let's see these are also only 10 I think that's a decent price i'm not exactly sure but we'll buy a few of those as well let's buy five onion seeds as well and then we'll also buy some rye grain and we'll buy we'll just buy five of everything yeah that sounds good to me wheat grain we'll buy five of that as well and that should do us from this place we still have 120 gold left that one was expensive 20 per Whew definitely don't want to uh just eat that or put it in bread we want to grow that for sure let's get out of here now, let's see if can we get manure do we have to buy manure do you sell manure no you do not it says that pigs have manure we need to find a place that has pigs apparently what about you do you sell anything Unighost? yes you do show me your wares please what do you have you have a bag which we already have you have a scythe that sounds cool water skin flax flax stock uh, nothing i really need right now and wow is that expensive i would have to sell a lot of knives for that okay well i'm gonna go for now i'm on the lookout for fertilizer i could really use a bag uh that's a bag of fertilizer i bet you i bet you anything that's a bag of fertilizer i don't want to rob anybody though i want to excuse me what am i stuck on a goose okay 
Let's see if we can't find some sort of fertilizer, though. All right, maybe a cow. Maybe a cow might have fertilizer. Can we, can we just wait around and see if you have any fertilizer? Can I have all your fertilizer, please? Give me your fertilizer. Give me all your fertilizer. I want your fertilizer. Give it here. I'm ready to receive the fertilizer. No? All right. Well, where can we get this fertilizer? How about you? Ooh, you have a lot of cows. Can I talk to you? Show me your wares. Yes, please tell me you have fertilizer. You have fertilizer? Wow, 10? Really? You're gonna charge me 10 gold for a fertilizer? All right, how much can we buy? We can buy 12 fertilizers. Uh, I don't think we need that many. I'm gonna buy five because that's all we have of any one seed. So hopefully it's just one square for one piece of fertilizer. Let's go ahead and buy five of these. It's really expensive, sir, but we'll do that. And now we'll make our way back home and fertilize that garden. This is a massive pile of berries. And the great thing about these berries is that by picking one of them, you don't just get one berry, you get quite a few berries. In fact, lots of times you're getting five berries per bush, which if you do the math, even at one per, that's quite a bit of gold. Let's see, did we get all the berries from these bushes? I think we did. And how many berries do we have now? We have 170 berries, that's at least 170 gold. That's worth the time that it took to gather all those for sure. Unfortunately though, now we're a little bit overburdened with all these berries. We're gonna have to drop some of them off. Let's see, actually, can we, can we go ahead and craft some more skinning knives? That might help with our overburdenedness. Let's see, how many of these can we make? Uh, just one, I'm guessing. Yeah, just one. We can build a hammer, we can build firewood. We don't need to do that and we already have a hoe. Okay, so that made us not burdened anymore. That's good news. Next, do we have anything in our trap? We sure do. Let's gather that and reset it. Oh man, this trap has been really good for us. We'll go ahead and set that. Let's now make, oh, we're overburdened again. Let's get some fertilizer in this ground. How do we do that? Oh, let me guess. I have to put fertilizer in my bag. How do I... Let's see. Okay, right-click on the bag. We can then put in fertilizer, please. Okay, now that we have fertilizer in there, we can... Did that grow back? Can we fertilizer... Can we fertilizer this? How do we fertilizer this? Uh, fertilizer this. Yes, please. Fertilize. How do we fertilize? Unplow... All right. Four, can we, can we fertilize this way? Bag of fertilizer required. I have a bag of fertilizer, can we fertilize? Oh, there we go, so, so. There it is. No, that's seed, I don't want seed. Why is it seed? It should be fertilizer. Uh, what did I do wrong? I did something wrong. Uh, can we change that out? Change bag mode, yes, please. Can I change it to fertilizer? No, okay. Do I have enough leather to make a different bag? First of all, let's go ahead and drop off all these berries for right now anyway. Accept that. Next, do we have any leather? We have two leather here. We should have a leather from the rabbit that we just got. So that should be able to make us another bag. So here's a simple bag. Let's go ahead and put that simple bag into a slot as well. Let's see, simple bag. Can we put that in slot five? Okay, now slot five. Let's go to slot four and then slot five. Yes, fertilizer. Do we have fertilizer in here now? Or no, is that fertilizer? Fertilized field, all right, we did it. We have a fertilized field. And, ooh, new building unlock, food storage, one. Great, we're gonna be doing that here in a second. Did I, did I do that one? There we go, that's fertilized now. Not grubbed up field. Hoe required, okay. Can we then, is that gonna make it so that we wasted our seed? That's gonna be unfortunate. Uh, three, is that a hoe? No, that's a pointy stick. How about four, is four my hoe? 
four is my hoe. There we go. Now we need a bag of fertilizer. Let's do the bag of fertilizer, please. And is that now fertilized? It is. Great. Fertilize this one. There we go. And fertilize this one. Or are we out of fertilizer? Oh, we're out of fertilizer. Okay. So now back to the seeds. We can see this fertilized field. Hoe required. I have a hoe. I thought I hoed it. Okay. There we go. Now we're doing it. All right. That looks much better. Now can we plant? Tell me we can plant now. Okay. So that's fertilizer for some reason. I don't know why it keeps switching over there, but we'll change it over to... Let's see. We don't have any cabbage. We do have carrots. Let's see can be planted in the spring and collected in the autumn. I wonder if the X means that we can't do it right now. Yes, planted in the summer and collected in the autumn. I believe the X means we can't plant those right now because it's not the right time of year. So it must be summer. We need to be on the lookout for cabbage seed. I did not see any for sale in town, but maybe we'll have to go to a different town and find that out. Meanwhile, though, since we're here at home, let's go ahead and start thinking about building a new building. What kind of building can we build? Let's see, storages? Uh, can we? No, that's locked. These are all locked. This one, food storage. We need eight logs. The village's main storage for food. It receives food collected in the hunting lodge, fishing hut, barn, and animal buildings. Inhabitants need this building to get food. Ooh, that definitely sounds like something that we should do. We need logs, lots and lots and lots of logs. So let's go ahead and get some logs right now. Whoa, what's that? What is that? Is that a buffalo? <gasps> is that a buffalo? Oh, I want to hunt a buffalo. Where's my spear? Oh, I missed. Not even close. Um, excuse me. I just, I just need to pick up this spear real quick. Nope, nope. Ah! Get off of me! Get off of me! I just want to pick up my. Nope, nope. Okay, I'm gone. I'm gone. It's fine. I didn't need the spear anyway. Ah! He is on my butt. I pissed him off. That's not good. Oh, run away! Run away from the buffalo! Big, mean, scary buffalo! Ah! He is. Oh boy, he is all over me like fly on rice. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. No! Get off of me, Mr. Buffalo. Get off. I don't want none of it. Nope. Oh, tell me you're gone. Tell me you're gone. Woo, that was close. Almost died. Oh, can I make a weapon? I definitely need at least another spear, but I would like to make something better than a spear. Looks like I need one log. I already have one log. I don't know if we should tempt fate on that one again. That was pretty bad. I am pretty hurt. I don't even know. Oh, he is right in my house. Mr. Buffalo, I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't even hit you. You can go away now. I don't need any of it. I don't want it. Go away. Oh boy. That's not good. Maybe it maybe I'll just maybe I'll just throw another spear at you. Maybe I'll do that. What do you think? Oh, I got you. That You didn't even get phased by it. Okay. Well, can I make another one? Yes, I can. You just wait right there, Mr. Buffalo. I'm gonna hit you again with it. All right. And throw. Oh, and throw. Oh, got you right. <gasps> Look at that. Oh my goodness, I might just be the best hunter alive. What a headshot with a pointy stick nonetheless. Woo, and it's the one that almost murked us first. Wow, that is awesome. Wait, why isn't? So it's not a buffalo, it's a wizent. Okay, we'll skin you. Yes, please, that's great. Wow, I can't believe we actually got the buffalo. That serves you right, sir, for trying to attack me. I didn't even hit you. I hit you that time, got you right in the head. Ooh, broadleaf plantain, I'll have some of that. In fact, I believe that helps me with my health. If it does, I should take that right now. Let's see, a herb that heals, 10 plus health. Yes, I will take that right now, please. We'll eat that up. And how's our health looking? There we go. Whoo, I am definitely hurt. I could definitely use some more of this broadleaf plantation. I sure do wish that my eagle eye vision would show that. Oh, it does show a rabbit trap. Uh, it does not show herbs and rocks and sticks, though, yet, unfortunately. 
Let's, let's go ahead and take some more of that plantation stuff. We have three of it. Oh, we are hurt so bad. That makes me feel a little bit better. And do we have a wooden spear still? Um, yes, we do. Okay, good. We have five logs. We need probably at least three more. So we'll cut down this tree. Oh, what do we got? New level extraction. Okay, well, let's go into there and check that one out. Uh, extraction knowledge. A skill that determines how good you are in terms of failing trees and mining. Plus one, more skill points from extraction activities. Okay, that sounds useful. Can we increase that level? Yes, we can. We got one out of three for that now. Make some logs. Pick that up. Pick this one up. Uh, we're overburdened a little bit, but that's okay. Not a problem. We're overburdened a lot. Building. We want to go to houses, resources, storages, right? Storages. Can we build that now? Yes, we can. Food storage. Maybe right here should be fine. Yeah. Okay, great. Now what do we need? Hammer, what do we need? We need eight sticks. We have 63 of them. And one log, okay? All right, there's the sticks. We might as well just get all the sticks put into the walls right now. Oh, okay, that one takes straw and logs. What about this one? This one takes sticks as well? All right, well, it looks like that's most of what we can do with our sticks. Is there any more up here that needs just sticks? I don't believe so. So now we just need to get straw and logs. And we have some straw, so we'll put the straw in there. However, I think we're gonna go to sleep. It's gotten quite late. We'll finish this in the morning. And just like that, it is the morning. The music is very dramatic. Is there something hunting me? Is there something coming after me? Not exactly sure. I mean, I know we killed the buffalo and all. In fact, speaking of the buffalo, we need a drink. We need to eat. So we're going to go ahead and get something to drink and then cook up some of that buffalo meat we just picked up. Can, can I light? There we go. Light it up. Cook. And we have roasted meats. Can we roast all of our meats? Yes, we can. Ooh, we have nine meats we can roast. We're gonna roast every single one of those, then we're gonna eat up and be feeling much better. We're gonna go ahead and eat until we're at least 50%. That's perfect. Now let's get back on working on our food storage building here. We got plenty of reeds while we were down by the water drinking, and I can just go ahead and put all those right in place right now. Okay, there's a log. That takes two logs. Ooh, that. Is that the door? That's kind of cool. Okay, now inside we go. What does this need? This needs three logs. Wow, that's a lot of logs for that. Oh, I see. That's That was a big portion of it, though. All right, need more logs, though. Got to cut down more trees. Out of the way, nature. We have progress to be made. New level survival. Ooh, what do we got here? Let's go check it out right now. Under skills, we have extraction knowledge. We can increase that. That sounds pretty good. Could we do something different if we wanted to? We Could we increase the level of woodcutter? Let's try it. Increase that level. No, no, we can't. Apparently, we can only do the one that it wants us to do, and that's going to be extraction knowledge. So we'll go ahead and increase that. All right, so and then also we have survival knowledge. We have... Three out of three there, we can now do insensitive work in progress or iron liver. Well, I believe I want to do this one. It's, it's better temperature control. It's not a big deal, but that's the one we're gonna do anyway. That gets us closer moving up the tree. Back to the chop chop. All right, the building's coming along real nicely. Let's go back into building and get this done. There's another wall. How about up here? Can we drop off some logs up top? Yes, we can. Oh, no, not another hammer. All right, well, we're gonna have to build yet another hammer. We need a log and a whole bunch of sticks. We have sticks and we're already chopping down logs, so that makes it a lot easier. Ooh, look at that, there goes a rabbit. Is that a rabbit or is that a pig? That's a big rabbit. My goodness, you're a porker. Where did you get all your carrots? I sure would like to know. I could maybe harvest some for myself because you definitely got plenty. Holy moly, that's a big rabbit. This should be the last bits. 
So we'll go ahead and do that piece and that piece. One more and it's done. Food storage one has been completed. Wow, that took quite a bit of logs, but we did it and look at it. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love it in here. However, there is a little bit of an open space in both ends right there. I don't know about those, but hey, who am I to judge on what a food storage needs to be back in medieval times? But man, look at it. It looks amazing. It's right next to our garden area as well, as well as our house. So that's starting off to look really, really nice. Let's see, technology. Technology. What do we got in technology? Resource storage one. Can we do that now? Do we have enough gold? Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and buy this. We do have enough gold. And now we have a shovel. We can now make a shovel. Great. We will definitely do that though later. All right, so now we have a shovel. Well, that's good. What else do we have technology-wise? I think that's it. Now, it did change what our goal was. Originally, we were supposed to go and talk to the hunter guy about the wolves, and some reason it changed over to Good Morning My Neighbors. I wanna go ahead and change that if possible. Let's go to Journal. Let's go to Unighost. Yeah, let's do this one. Can we focus on this one again, please? And I think with that, though, we're gonna call it an episode right here. We got a lot done. This building took me quite a while and a lot of logs to gather. But we got our garden down, we fertilized it. Next episode, we're gonna go talk to the guy about the wolves, and we're gonna pick up hopefully some cabbage seed so that we can plant it in the ground and maybe get a harvest going. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like on it. That helps a great deal. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring the bell if you wanna know exactly when I come back to Medieval Dynasty. And once again, my name is Stinger. This is my playground. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Food here pretty soon? That'll be nice. Uh, no, sir, we don't have any apples. Uh, maybe the trader, yeah, he's coming. Ooh, two people want apples. All right, let's see if you, do you have apples? Yes, you do. All right, we'll buy all of them. We'll buy all of them, yes. Yes, you get apples, you get apples. Everybody's getting apples.